Welcome to another episode of Discipline Engineering. So, today's episode is one of our final episodes to the end of season one. Thank you for staying with me throughout the whole season one of Discipline Engineering. From building the baseline habits and the foundations of success. This topic is important because of the times that we live in. Resilience. Your ability to bounce back from setbacks and challenges and failures and mistakes in life. Do you have that spirit to bounce back from setbacks and challenges that life puts in your way? Do you have the psychological teflon to be able to face the difficulties that life is going to put in front of you the curveballs that life is going to throw in front of you stay tuned and find out ways to develop that resilient spirit you need Welcome. So today's episode of Discipline Engineering, we are discussing resilience. We live in an uncertain time because of a virus and a pandemic that has destroyed so many people's lives, that has destroyed careers, and that has been a catalyst to transforming and reshaping what we knew to be a technological change to a global system taking place. Do you have what it takes to get up and face your dreams, to get up and achieve your vision, to get up and face those difficulties that life is going to throw in front of you? How do you develop the resilient spirit that you need in order to be able to succeed in this world of negativity? How do you develop that resilient spirit? to push you to achieve your goals. Four simple steps to developing resilience. The first step is you and I, we must be our authentic self. You must accept who you are as your authentic self. Are you diluting your personality to favor somebody else? Are you diluting yourself just because society wants you to be and act in a certain way, manner, shape or form, it is important you learn the difference between who you are and what society expects of you. Are you reshaping your culture? Are you reshaping your personality? Are you reshaping who you are as a person just to fit in? Look, let me tell you. It is important you accept who you are because you are special. We are all special. Do not let anybody convince you that because of the way you speak, because of the way you act, because of how you dress, you do not fit the standard that they have set for others. Set the standard for yourself. Follow your own path. Chat your own way because at the end of the day those visions you have those dreams you have it is only you that can realize them it is only you that can energize the resources to bring it to fruition so be your authentic self accept who you are look let me tell you you can speak the way you speak and still be successful you can dress the way you want to dress and still be successful. You don't believe me? Ask Eric Thomas. We must accept who we are. You don't have to follow the standard that society has set for everybody else. It is important we learn to understand who we are. Look, the way I speak is the way I speak. I come from a Ghanaian heritage. There's no reason why I'm going to change the way I speak just to fit into a different society. 
Look, let me tell you, we all have an accent. Who determines what is an accent? It is our understanding of language that shows that if somebody has an accent or doesn't have an accent. So if I speak and you hear an accent, when you speak, I hear an accent. If I can try my possible best to understand you, then you can do the same. Be your authentic self and be unapologetic about who you are and what you stand for. Raise the standard for yourself. Raise the standard for your friends. Raise the standard for your family. Do not accept disrespect from anybody, especially from you. Why are you sleeping in an extra hour? Why are you wasting time playing another video game? I will keep reminding you that your habit is what will make you successful or keep you in the pit that you keep digging yourself into. The second step we must take is to restructure our mindset. We must restructure our mindset. What are some of the thought processes that subconsciously you are not aware of but is hindering your progress? That you are not even realistically accepting your flaws. You are not understanding that the way you think and how you see things is stopping you from taking on challenges, from developing the commitment to achieve your goals, you must learn to restructure your mindset. Restructure your mindset. Find a way to look at things from a positive angle. Find a way to look at things from a way that you've never thought of before. That the negativity is too much. It is time you develop some positive mindset and accept that you too can be great. The third step to building resilience is learning from your mistakes and your failures. Look, we all make mistakes. We all have failed in one thing or the other. But it is up to you to learn from those mistakes. Is it better to learn from others' mistakes so that you don't make them yourself? Yes, you stand a risk of forgetting those lessons because you've not gone through the process yourself. If you can find a system that works, a method, a technique that works by learning from others' mistakes, then do that. So that you don't have to make those mistakes yourself. Otherwise, learn from your mistakes and your failures because it is in those mistakes and failures that opportunities arise to make you great. That opportunities will come to lift you and elevate your thinking, elevate your level of success. So yes, you must learn from mistakes and failures, be it your own or be it that of others, mentors, coaches, speakers, or investors, entrepreneurs. Learn from others' mistakes. Learn from your own mistakes and your own failures. And find and adopt and refashion and make ways of making yourself better every single day by learning those lessons from those mistakes and failures. The fourth step to building resilience is to maintain perspective. Maintain perspective. Don't let the failure of today depress you and bring you down, that you cannot bounce back and attack the vision that you have, the dream that you have. Maintain perspective. If you fail today, it is only today you failed. Do not put your failure of today onto tomorrow. Maintain perspective. Because things can change in a twinkle of an eye. Things can change at the snap of a finger. Things can change in a second, in a minute, in an hour. Maintain perspective. Be your authentic self. Restructure your mindset. Learn from your mistakes and your failures. 
and maintain perspective so that you can build the psychological teflon that you will need to bounce back from adversities, that you will need to bounce back from difficulties, from those curveballs that life is going to throw you away. Look, discipline engineering is all about developing the baseline habit that is required to make you successful. If the whole concept of discipline engineering changes, the life of just one person, the mission and objective of discipline engineering will have come to pass, will have been achieved. It is not about the number. It is not about how many subscribers do we have and how many followers do we have. No, it is about the life-changing concept that we are developing. That a student who is struggling, an entrepreneur, who sees no hope of succeeding can be able to move past the motivation, build the discipline, develop the commitment, reinvent the perseverance and the consistency that is required to push forward for one year, two years, five years, before they see any light of success at the end of that entrepreneurship tunnel. That is what discipline engineering is all about. Moving past the motivation, moving past the hype and the pump. That we can take people from the development of an idea to it accomplishment. Develop resilience. Build a resilient spirit. And develop the discipline that comes with it. This has been another episode of Discipline Engineering. I hope the idea of resilience is something that resonates with you. Comment below your experiences on resilience that others can learn as well from you. Stay tuned for more episodes, more seasons of Discipline Engineering, Discipline Framework, Discipline Theory, Discipline Mindset. Whatever that you do, you can apply discipline. Discipline is the bridge between your goals and your accomplishments but you must build that bridge yourself. You must develop that discipline yourself. Get it done. Stay tuned. Cheers.